Lucas Media. So we got some news coming out of basketball. That is an anonymous basketball player had some things to say about Bronny James' summer league. Everybody knows how that was going. And he had to say, quote, you could feel that there was no unity between this group of guys as Bronny was the main guy and the others didn't feel like it was right, that he deserved that. I mean, he was treated as someone apart, not like all of us. And that was very annoying as we didn't feel any chemistry in this group of players. I ended up getting frustrated because I was never put in the best situation or even put in some plays or game plans because they wanted Bronny to show his skills and shine. If you talk to any other player that was part of the roster of the California Classic and Summer League, most of them would tell you the same thing. And it goes to say that it was, basically it was, it was it was obvious. Ray Charles, Stevie Wonder could see it. The tensions were visible, so on and so forth, as y'all see. Now, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I feel for those players, but I mean, I think everybody who played for the Lakers summer team shouldn't have been surprised. Bronny was going to be the, the, he was going to be the shine or the face of the summer league. It didn't matter if he was the first pick or the last pick because the NBA is going to try to squeeze every dollar they can out of LeBron and Bronny before they both exit the NBA. Or really LeBron, because at this moment, if LeBron leaves, Bronny going too. I mean, it sucks, though. It sucks. I feel for those guys. I mean, and don't be surprised if this bleeds over until if Bronny plays on the Lakers full time. And this is why you see the Gary Trent and uh, uh, Spencer didn't, di didn't sign with him. And Klay Thompson didn't want to sign. Because while LeBron is an all-time great player, and he's doing his things right now, gearing up for the olympics it's a circus when you come back to reality of him playing on the lakers you know genie bus and rob palenka you know they, they sold their morals for a dollar and i mean hey as a businessman in a capitalistic society i don't have no problem with that but this is what comes on the back end and more people can see that Bronny wasn't ready at first he was forced and then you don't want to any questions that's going to be is going to be about Bronny. Oh, what you think about LeBron and Bronny? LeBron and Bronny. LeBron and Bronny. So, you know, don't nobody want to do that. Paul George don't want to do that. Uh, Kevin Durant wouldn't want to do that. Kawhi Leonard wouldn't want to do that. So it's, uh, it's one of those things where I really feel bad for Bronny. Six in one hand, half a dozen in the other because if another team would have picked him up and he still would have had media attention it wouldn't have been as bad but for you to get selected by your father's team in the second round and rich paul allegedly telling people if you draft him the kid's going to go to australia i mean all of that is going to cause a circus and unfortunately Bronny's going to be the one people take take it out on and as i'm, I'm gonna keep saying this when lavar ball was running around screaming my son better than steph curry and he already a top five point guard in college the moment he got to the pros, Patrick Beverly took it out on him for game one. He can't get to LeVar, so I'm going to take it out on Lonzo. And while Lonzo had a solid career before injuries, that first year, you could tell a lot of a lot of people was trying him. And what Lonzo went through is going to be peanuts. If Bronny plays any minutes out there, whoever's guard, they're going to try to lock him up. And you heard that as well. Was it the... The one of the games he sat out on, it was rumors that it was a point a guard out there that was ready to D him up to lock him down. So you really gonna be able to either Bronny's gonna elevate or he'll only be a couple years, what three years? I think the fourth year is an option. But yeah, I'm not surprised by none of this. I'm not surprised by none of this. I mean, you on on camera, on camera, you look like everybody was cool, but I don't know, man. It just I I feel sorry for them guys, but hey, basketball is a business. And as you can see, while there might have been people that were more qualified, Genie Bus and, and the Lakers uh, front office, they try to, and Adam Silver and all these other owners, they're going to try to squeeze out as much money as they can. Like I always said, if me and you had that kind of star power and we could generate hundreds of millions of dollars, they would they would draft us. And now we might sit on the bench. We might we ain't going to get no time. You know, you go, I'm going to be, be busy giving LeBron his power aid and all of that. But, you know, it's all about money. And where is this same heat for Taylor Swift? You can't turn on a Kansas City Chiefs game without seeing her every three seconds. Why? Because of the money. If Travis Kelsey even caught a, if he even caught a, a ball for three yards, they was putting the camera on her. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.